Good afternoon. I mean, I guess I will um, just continue from where Honorable Salah left. Um, I think what he did was he asked that you don't have to put an umbrella over him. So, so um, uh, it's a lesson to learn. It's a lesson to learn. And um, I have a lot of comments. A lot of comments. Because when we come into occasions like this, I guess we were invited to inspire you young ones. And when we come to inspire you, we must be very truthful with you guys. And um, I come from an entrepreneurial background. I am not a political scholar. I'm not a journalist. So don't expect to hear very nice speeches from me, from the Venerable Dr. Um, uh, Baba Galejalo or my senior brother and uh, learned uh, Honorable Khalifa Sala. I am more on operation. I am an entrepreneur. I try to look at what has gone wrong to rectify it. And I try to look into the future. Dr. Sa Honorable Sala has told you the history of our independence. So I, there's no way I will go into the history of our independence. I'm not going to talk to you about what um, the definition of patriotism. But as an entrepreneur, as a visionary, where do I see this country in the next 20, 30 years? When those of you who are sitting here will now be in our position. We need to mold your future. And molding our future, to start, we have to be very brief, because already you have been late by one and a half hours. This is not acceptable. It has to stop. You cannot invite people like those sitting in the high table, that they were here at 11 o'clock. You said 11, Dr. Jalo was here at quarter to 11. I was here at sharp 11. And we were the only two that were sitting in the high table. It is wrong. We need to change. And this is the practice, and it must stop. It must stop. I want to commend you. I think it's quite commendable that we have young people like yourselves organizing things like this. It is commendable. But whilst commending you, we need to also guide you and advise you on what will make you better leaders better leaders of tomorrow because without these things you can never get it right so punctuality the takeaway from here today is that next time you organize an event whether big or small time is time 11 o'clock is 11 o'clock please i want to buttress this so secondly since you are talking about um the history the um, um the club is about history and government that my the, pre, um, uh, the, the speakers, the um, uh, speakers before me did say that. And as we celebrate 55 years of independence, what do we need to do as patriots? We need to go back and find out what is the definition of a patriot. A patriot is somebody, in my own definition, and I believe is the um, English dictionary definition, is somebody who loves his country. And you demonstrate it. Loving your country is not by mouth. You have to demonstrate it in everything that you do in life. And as I sat here today, together with those gentlemen, I looked at the things that are going wrong in this country and continue to go wrong in this country. When you, next time you organize something like this, please don't escort anybody with a BMW and those guards on with them. That's what we had for 25 years. You must learn to be humble. Humility. Leadership comes with humility. You saw um, Honorable Salah. What did he do? The first time he said, please don't put an umbrella under me because others are also under the, sea, under the sun. We have people now like bodyguards behind us. We don't need bodyguards. <laughs> Let us be kind of actual. We are carrying a history that we don't need. We must eradicate it from our culture. Otherwise, the young ones will think that it's part of our lives. It's not part of our lives. Please, gentlemen, next time you have something like this, come with a light shirt. Come with a simple message or a hartoon. This is history. We should not be part of our culture. We are not culture to behave like this. So please, whilst you are doing very well, these are things that as your elders, some of you are our grandkids, our nephews, our nieces, our sons and daughters, we have to tell you that please let this be part of their history. Set it aside. 
But we don't need to escort cars anymore. I came with my car. I drove myself with my staff. I didn't drive into the compound. And I'm sure my net worth is greater than yours. So please, if I can manage to walk here, modestly sit here for all this time, whoever was in that car, actually we were wondering, who is this guy? <laughs> whoever is, please next time don't do it. So let me not overdo that. Now, moving ahead. If we want to be independent and be patriotic, I want to advise you, because when I do these things, I want some very short takeaways. If we want to have the gambit that we want, one, I mentioned punctuality, two, is humility. Be humble. Be humble. That went out of the window over the past 22 years. Be yourself. There's nothing wrong for people will identify with you. We had the brilliant speech by, by Honorable Salah. He didn't come and he didn't stand here to tell you who he was. Man, my Dr. Salah, my Defli, my Defli, my Defli. No, no, no. But you have digested what he has told you. That is what is important. That's the substance. I don't have to tell you that I am tough. I have built this. I built it. I built that. If you go around, you will see it. So be humble. You will be identified. So grow up to be humble. The last one is modesty. Be modest. People are not modest any, any, anymore. And that is why we have all our young men and women who have lost hope. And they think the fastest way to make it in life is to go through the water, is to steal, is to be corrupt. These things we need to wipe away from our, 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 our culture. We can do it. With today, I want to leave you with these three things. Punctuality, humility, and modesty. And to make it as a nation, I will urge you to start acquiring skills. I'm glad Honorable Salah spoke about the numbers. Yes, we've done our own research. What you should do now, analyze the numbers that he told you. If in 2019 we have 374,000 in elementary school and we can only have 104,000 in, uh, in uh, upper basic, where are the 200,000? What are they doing? Where are they? They cannot dis dis uh, dis um, uh, dis um, uh, disappear into thin air. And further down, there's only 70,000 who can make it to, um, uh, to senior secondary. How many of them make it to university? So you're feeding the system with 374,000, and out there, we know that Gambia University takes only about 1,000. So where are the rest? It's a recipe for disaster. So I will want to urge policymakers and students to start acquiring skills. You will never go wrong with skills. I always tell about my history, I am a carpenter. Today, big as you may see me, standing in international universities, giving lectures, I started as a carpenter in 1975 when I graduated in Gambia High School, when I had a passion for carpentry, and I loved it. I pursued my dream, and today, I am who I am today. So I'm encouraging you, I'm encouraging you young ones, to have a skill, have develop your skill, and after developing a skill, please be disciplined. This country today, there is no discipline in the country. Yesterday, I was driving at traffic lights. I had green. There was a young man. You know what he did to me? Like this. I'm sure I was as old as his grandfather. Indiscipline, rudeness, but it's not your fault. We have had this long quarter of a century where this was accepted. Time is up now to say no to it and to divert the direction for prosperity. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.